Cloud Star is a pale gray tom with white patches and very pale blue eyes. He was born at a Sky Clan while they still lived in the forest and became a warrior with the name Cloudstorm. Not long after he received his warrior name, while Sky Clan was under Fly, Fly Star's leadership, the clan began to have trouble with kitty pets catching their prey. Cloudstorm, despite being one of the newest warriors, spoke up at the clan meeting and declared that they needed to launch an attack on Two Leg Place to teach the kitty pets a lesson. The clan deputy, Petalfall, agreed with his idea, and the following day they attacked kitty pets in Two Leg Place, warning them to stay out of their territory. The raid was successful, and they no longer had any issues with the kitty pets. When Petalfall retired due to seizures, Cloudstorm was made deputy in her place. Flystar eventually lost his ninth life, and Cloudstorm succeeded him as leader of Sky Clan. One of the cats at his nine life ceremony was Maple Star, an ancient Sky Clan leader who was deputy when the law in the Warrior Code is created that deputy succeeds the clan leader. Another was Dark Star, the Sky Clan leader who made it a law that the word of the clan leader that must always be obeyed, and who had also given Thunder Clan a quarter of Sky Clan's territory. He gave Cloudstar a life to have faith in his instincts and know that his word is law. Cloudstar made Buzzard Tail his deputy. Cloudstar became mates with Birdflight, and she became pregnant with their kits. Although he was happy about this, he soon had reason to worry. Two legs started bringing their monsters closer and closer to Sky Clan territory, and prey began to grow scarce. Although some of the ancient Sky Clan leaders visited Cloudstar in a dream and told him that he had nothing to fear, his medicine cat, Fawnstep, had omens that made her believe Sky Clan was in grave danger. One day, while Cloudstar was out training the clan's apprentices, two leg monsters made their way into Sky Clan's territory and began destroying trees. At this point, even the other clan's medicine cats were having signs about Sky Clan. Cloudstar decided that Sky Clan's best chance was to reclaim the part of their territory that Darkstar had once given to Thunder Clan. He led an attack on one of their patrols but his weekend, starving warriors were no match for ThunderClan's healthy cats. He was forced to admit defeat. Cloudstar and Birdflight's kits, Spotted Kit and Gorse Kit, were born in this dark time. He feared for them as the monsters grew closer and closer to the heart of their territory. He came to realize that SkyClan had one last hope, mercy from the other clans. When the monsters surrounded their camp, he brought his entire clan to the gathering, and told everyone what had happened and begged for help. To his horror, the other clans insisted that they could not spare territory or prey. His clan would have to leave the forest. Birdflight knew that their kits were too young to travel, so she asked the clans if anyone would take them in. The ThunderClan medicine cat told her that she and the kits would be welcome to stay in ThunderClan. Cloudstar longed to stay with them, but he knew that he had a duty to his clan, and he could not leave them. He said farewell to his maiden kits, vowing that he'd find them again one day. SkyClan left the gathering, with Cloudstar vowing that he'd never look to StarClan again, since they allowed the destruction of his territory and SkyClan's exile. SkyClan followed the river upstream, but the journey was difficult. A kit was lost to the river, an apprentice was killed by a fox, and at least one elder died on the way. Fawnstep wanted to ask StarClan for advice, but Cloudstar refused. He did, however, come to decide that he wouldn't stop his clanmates from believing if they chose to. They had lost their home, so he didn't want to take that from them as well. Eventually, they came upon a gorge where they were able to find prey, and they made camp. Cloudstar vowed that SkyClan would survive as long as he was with them, and he'd live out the rest of his nine lives there. Buzzard Tail succeeded Cloudstar as leader, but SkyClan was besieged by rats and disbanded not long afterward. Many seasons later, watching from StarClan, Cloudstar saw an opportunity for his clan to be made whole again. He saw a young ThunderClan leader, Firestar, who was Kitty Pet born, who didn't have the blood of the clan cats, cats who had once betrayed SkyClan. He visited Firestar in visions and dreams, and also happened to be seen by Smudge, a Kitty Pet who lived where SkyClan's camp used to be. Firestar slept in Smudge's garden one night and was able to speak to Cloudstar. Cloudstar told him what had happened to Sky Clan in the forest and demanded that Firestar must rebuild the lost clan. Firestar eventually agreed, 
and Cloudstar watched as Firestar put together the descendants of the ancient clan and made them into a clan once more. He was there when Firestar was, lost one of his nine lives to the rats. He was the cat who welcomed the new Sky Clan leader, Leaf Dapple, to her nine lives ceremony, and he gave her the first of her nine lives, a life for endurance. During the ceremony, the leaders of the other four clans at the time of Sky Clan's exile, Red Star of Thunder Clan, Dawn Star of Shadow Clan, Birch Star of River Clan, and Swift Star of Wind Clan, came to Cloudstar and apologized for what they and their clans had done to Sky Clan. Sky Clan's ancestors had been separate from the rest of Star Clan, but now that Sky Clan was a true clan once more, Star Clan was whole. At long last, Cloudstar was reunited with his mate Birdflight, and with their kits, Spotted Pelt and Gorth Claw, who Firestar noticed looked a lot like Spotted Leaf and Tiger Claw. Their family was once again together forever. Cloudstar continued to serve as an advisor to other cats, both in Star Clan and the Living World. He advised Leafstar not to doubt Sharpclaw, and told her that her destiny would be what she makes it. To Firestar, he gave a prophecy to pass on to Bramblestar. When water meets blood, blood will rise. He also visited Ravenpaw's dream, and told him that Riley and Bella could prove themselves to the clan, and that Sky Clan needed Ravenpaw's help. Later, Cloudstar, along with the former medicine cat Brackenheart, and their founder, Skystar, had a vision of Sky Clan's future. Skystar declared that Sky Clan would need to look to Firestar's kin and rejoin the other clans. Cloudstar was shocked at the idea that his clan would need to leave the gorge where they had made their home, but he was determined that no matter what, Sky Clan would survive.